Hey everybody, we wanted to make a video showing you guys how to get the brightest pop from your LumaCord. So I've got a little packet of EL wire there for reference, and I've got some of round one, and a little coil of green so you can see how they react differently. Now, the sun's the best, obviously. Good midday sun is so going to charge it and give it the brightest pop, but you know, at night when you want to go out, that's not usually available. So first up, we have a UV, a UV flashlight. Now there's a lot of these that we've been trying to uh, figure out which ones work best. Uh, oftentimes, you know, the brightest doesn't necessarily mean the best because what's going to charge it is actually the invisible UV light. Anyways, so this is one that works great. Um, you know, it's better to be charging something that you've made as opposed to just the coil. Uh, you'll find it's harder to charge the coil because you're trying to cover more area and it's not, you know, you're not getting all the sides, but so here we go. Let's try this one out first. So you can put it up there. Even the sides. It doesn't do half bad job. You notice that the green charges faster and a little better because it accepts more wavelengths. So there's charging with a handheld UV light. Better than that would be a black light. American DJ has a 24 uh, black light bulb black light that is real great. Okay, this is a two foot 20 watt black light and uh, it does a pretty good job. You get a lot more area. A little bit faster. As I said, you know, it's easier to be charging something if you've already gotten it made. So here I've got a, uh, this is from round one. The, the round one is 1.75 millimeter. It can be used a little easier to make things with because it is a little more flexible because of the smaller diameter. And um, you get it up there and you start to get charged. Of course, there's a lot more area. Gotta get in all the little cracks, and you're gonna get a good charge. And I'm just trying to do it real fast. Anyways, there's that. Last, whoa. Last is a uh, fluorescent, four foot fluorescent bulb, set of those from Home Depot. These are kind of what we were using for uh, uh, charging banks for uh, people who are wearing something on their body. So this is a just a standard uh, fluorescent uh, fixture. It's got two 40 watt, 40 watt, four foot bulbs in it. And uh, you know, if you get something right up there, you can just kind of see it light up. And that is give it a great charge as well. There you have it, you've got handheld LED UV, small portable 20 watt, two foot black light, and then two four foot 40 watt black lights. You know, I love these because the American DJ, because not only are they cheap, they're, uh, you can strap this to a bike along with a uh, uninterrupted power supply like from Walmart, and it will run it for eight hours or so. And uh, that works really great for charging on the go. All right, also remember temperature is a huge thing. The difference between 85 degrees on a summer uh, day or night and, you know, 60 or 50 degrees, I think it's into autumn and winter is uh, quite of a difference. See the temperature post for more on that. And uh, all right, thanks for watching.